You don't have any proof that other people can't read your mind. I have quite a bit of circumstantial evidence, considering that people I know still talk to me. When I was a kid, I would try to randomly yell in my own head to see if I surprised any mind readers, and I never saw any signs of it. They must be incredibly good at acting, I get surprised by my own thoughts and burst into laughter or wince depending on what it is, also nobody has booked me an appointment with a psychiatrist yet. If they can, they are hiding it really well. Because if I said what I'm thinking it would bother people. If you all didn't react to what I'm always thinking then you're sick. You don't have any proof that there isn't a monster under your bed. Considering I still have some friends regardless of my level of intoxication, nobody has strongly suggested therapy, and I haven't been arrested, I'd say the odds are well in my favor that nobody is reading my thoughts. Generally speaking, you don't have proof of things that don't exist, it works the other way around. Sometimes when I am thinking of extremely embarrassing stuff I will think in my head hey if anyone is reading my mind, I am sorry. Smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. You don't have any proof that there are other people. Be it a simulation filled with philosophical zombies or a Boltzmann brain, the truth outside your own momentary self-awareness is not provable. Bro, don't fucking do that to me. I was already worried about that. I can't even read my fucking mind. That's proof enough for me. I haven't got shot by a wall of rifles executing me yet so you're wrong. The number of people who respond in no way at all when I think that they are an insufferable asshole is a pretty sturdy body of evidence. The number of women who have not slapped my face half off is even more evidence of that. Yeah I do. Cause if anyone could read my mind, they would kill me first. Apologize to all the mind readers out there who had the misfortune to encounter me. The fact that I haven't been stabbed yet is proof enough for me. True. I myself have the ability to read minds. But up till now I've only been able to read mine. As a child I was sure that humans learn mind reading when they turn 18. I thought they tried to hide it so I did some testing. The obvious tests didn't work. But the more subtle ones did work. Which proved that they hide their abilities. Of all the things I don't have proof of, I consider mind reading to be so close to impossible it's indistinguishable. I feel like I have proof to the contrary, people seem to easily read my mind. Probably because every single thought shows on my face, I can't help it. But it is annoying sometimes. You can never really prove a theory is true, only that it's false. You use the theory to create a prediction and test it if the prediction is incorrect the theory is disproved. If the prediction is correct the theory has more weight to it but is still just a theory. So, we can set up an experiment that disproves telepathy and plenty of people have but you can never actually prove it. Yeah I do. There's zero chance people wouldn't make faces if they could. This happened to me once when I was 10 or 11. I was concentrating as hard as I could on the name Alexandria because I was obsessed with it at the time I wished it was mine. A boy passing me turned around asked if my name was Alexandria. Didn't know him, was just some neighborhood kid around my age. I don't. But I also know you don't either. Insert favorite creepy music here. False, if so why does my boyfriend never understand why I am mad? We don't have proof that they can either. So the burden of proof is on the person challenging the assumption that appears to be the norm, that nobody can read another person's mind. IDK. I thought about some pretty fucked up things in my time in public, and I've never once been called out for them. Except it turns out that every single person besides yourself can read everyone else's mind, but it's a kind of an agreed up -um thing where you don't talk about mind read. Bro I went to therapy for this exact thought. Having Vietnam flashbacks now. I think they can't read my mind but I make them see what's going through inside. I'm not locked up in a mental asylum so I think that's a good start. 
Test it by imagining two nearby people having sex, see if anyone acts weirdly. Caveat emptor. He who asserts must prove. In this case the mind reading is an assertion. Without proof it's bunkum. My advice start taking baths instead of showers. Their facial expressions toward me are a clear indication that they cannot. As someone with extreme ADHD and a tendency for abstract thought I know very well the face the people around me make when I accidentally cross the line and let one of the many many thoughts I have fly. Seeing as everyone around me isn't clutching their head and screaming I'm fairly sure I do know. According to the René to court, the only thing you do have proof of is that you yourself exist. Anything beyond that is conjecture. Well, I keep begging for help and no one comes. I also test psychic when I ride by their house and I never see the balloon red balloon I tell them to put out front of their business entrance. If they can hear the dead I am seeing at their door begging to be heard then can hear the living too. Proof? No. I just think if they could read my mind they'd probably act more scared. The lack of people calling the police is all the evidence I need. The onus for claims is on the claimant, not someone saying prove to me a negative. The burden of the proof resides in the person making the claim. I've had a lot of negative thoughts towards other people, so if they can read my mind they are very good at acting. Nobody I've met has randomly yelled what the fuck. Once, so I think that counts. On a related note, every time I see an especially ugly person, I think that it would be truly horrible to be really ugly and be able to read minds. Just people smiling in your face all day thinking, God am that's an ugly motherfucker. Actually I do have proof no one ever walks up to me, face palms, and immediately walks away muttering this guy's a fkn idiot. The proof is that you can't read theirs. Considering that humans have the same general abilities though maybe not at the same levels, if you can't read minds, they can't either. And I can already hear the arguments that go something like I can't play guitar either, but other people can. Yes, you can play guitar you can pick it up and make noise with it. You can't play it as well, but you're still able. The same baseline ability can't be said for reading minds. Droplet snowflake raised hand skull and crossbones victory hand neutral face thumbs down sign victory hand skull and crossbones thumbs down sign droplet skull and crossbones thumbs down sign bomb skull and crossbones thumbs down sign droplet full mailbox with raised flag good luck reading this verbally. Yes I do have proof. I still have friends, I still have a job, and I'm not in jail. Yeah I do. I'm alive. If people could read my mind I'd be dead. I'm not worried. Other people should be worried about being able to read my mind. Well, either they can't read my mind or they have very thick skin. Maybe not. But sometimes there's that one best friend you have. You know each other so well, you finish each other's sentences. I think this rather frequently so I chose the when I have a free moment to think I intentionally think the word thoughts over and over and I hope if anyone can read my mind that I take up a portion of their day thinking I just went by some guy and he's just thinking the word thoughts over and over again. This while post is just a decoy so that I think nobody can hear my thoughts. I was in an argument with my grandparents once, then I picked up my gf and we went to a psychic rock shop. I was checking and as I walked out the cashier told me to be more nice to my grandparents. First time ever in this shop. Skeptic. No BS. Just because you're paranoid, don't mean they are not after you. Kurt. This reminds me of when I was a kid and thought that life as we know it was a massive charade to metal our character for lack of other more succinct words for some utopian society I had to graduate into upon reaching adulthood. Alas, this has not happened yet, but who knows maybe it's still just around the corner like my Hogwarts admissions letter. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. LOLO yes I do BC if they could they wouldn't talk to me anymore. 